Nothing much is as it was here in the abandoned city of Pripyat, the ravages of time and a thousand visitors who come here for a few hours at a time have seen to that. But there are clues as to what life may have been like for the workers at Chernobyl power plant and their families back in the heyday of the nuclear age. The school textbooks with comrade Lenin on the cover, the enormous swimming pool, the words on a building top that read, the atom must be a worker, not a soldier. Now 30 years since the world's worst nuclear disaster, the toxic remains of reactor number four are soon to be sealed beneath a giant sarcophagus. The new safety confinement, it's called. It's an arch on wheels weighing 35,000 tons. It'll be rolled over the reactor and operational by the end of 2017. Two main reasons. Firstly, it will confine the old reactor and massively mitigate the consequences of any potential further collapse of the object shelter or the uh, contamination of the local environment. And secondly, it will provide for the first time the instruments and the equipment to provide long-term deconstruction of the object shelter and put Chernobyl on a, a safe and secure footing for decades to come. Does any of that mean that life will one day return to the nearby ghost city of Pripyat? Not one day in our lifetimes. The city itself and its immediate surrounds are considered unsafe for human habitation for at least 24,000 years. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, close to the epicentre of the world's worst nuclear disaster.